Hello. Husky's back again with more NHL 18 GM and franchise mode commentary. Uh, today we're going to be looking at our possible uh, three teams going forward as to who we're going to pick next. Um, well, the first team we're going to look at is these are going to be short little blips. It'd be like a 15 minute video, maybe five, five minutes on each team. Uh, we're going to look at three teams. The first one is Columbus. So let's have a look at the roster situation, what we are expecting in terms of um, success and how we would go about it. So looking at the roster for Columbus, um, they have a very young team. Um, they are very close to being a, I mean, they're a returning playoff team in the NHL in real life, but in EA, they really don't translate very well because, I mean, their overalls aren't very good. I mean, our Timmy Panarin is our best player in 86. Zach Wierenski, I mean, he very rarely gets higher than an 85. Maybe with a user controlling him and playing with Seth Jones on the top pairing, he'd get better. I mean, their defensive core is disgusting. Murray, Jones, Wierenski. But offensively, you've got Panarin, Atkinson, Winberg, and then Felino, Dabinsky. Like, you definitely need to upgrade your forwards. You need an actual first line to play with Panarin. Um, but defensively, I mean, they're set. You've got four guys that are 84 or higher, and three of them are medium elites. Like, and you got Jack Johnson, who honestly isn't a bad third-pairing defenseman if I can get him to take a decent contract hit. And then, of course, goaltending. I mean, you've got Proboski and Corpusalo. Like, that's possibly the best goaltending you can start with in this game. Um, but what I would say is with this team is I would probably take year one to kind of do a soft rebuild not not so much rebuild but instead um kind of retool i guess maybe move some assets to try to beef up my top six or i just take your one off see how the team does trade away jack johnson and Bobrovsky and get a high draft pick and try to cash in that way. Um, now what I'm also going to do in these in this next GM mode is I'm going to do a 32 team league. So there's going to be one extra team. So there's eight teams in each division, 32 across the league. They're going to be a central division team since that's where the opening is. Well, I kind of want to move Detroit back, but I'll worry about that when I start the GM mode. So what it's going to do is it's going to put me, I have to do a protection list for the expansion draft. And then I have to do the entry draft that contained Nico, Nolan Patrick. So I have to redo that draft. So we might be able to grab something there depending on where the lottery falls because it, it re-randomizes the lottery. But what I would say for Columbus is one to two years of retooling and hoping for progression and then playoff team the rest of the way. Like, because Corpus Allo will be progressed. Orinsky, Jones, Murray, like these guys will be up there. Bjorks, um, if you look in the system, I mean, it's not too. Oh, they really don't have anything, man. Are they on the main roster, these kids? Dubois, Milano, Bjorkstrand. I mean, they've got a couple guys that could turn into something. Uh, nothing too over the top. So we would need to maybe get some prospects. Uh, Trading Dubinsky would be an option. Trading Felino is also an option. So definitely with Columbus, it's a one to two year retooling, refiguring. Pretty much what I did with Dallas, just take the first two years off and then go hard for the playoffs the rest of the GM mode. But that's where I'm going to end this one. We will pick this up with our next team, which will be The Carolina Hurricanes. This is the next team we're going to consider for GM mode. Uh, we just got done going over the Columbus Blue Jackets. And we're going to look at the Carolina Hurricanes. Now, the Carolina Hurricanes are an interesting team. They're kind of in a similar spot to Columbus. A very young team with a pretty high quality defenseman Justin Falk, Noah Haffinen, Jacob Slavin, Trevor Van Riemsdyk, Hayden Flurry. Like, they've got. Pretty good decor, but again, the same issue that Carolina has, the same issue that Columbus has, is they don't have a top-end guy to say he's a first-liner. Like, Jeff Skinner's an 85. He's not actually a first-liner. 
I don't care if that's his role. He's not a first liner. He's an 85 overall. I mean, you get past him, Skinner, Rask, Stahl, Aho, Lindholm, Justin Williams, he doesn't have a place here. At least Stepniak, he shouldn't be here. Marcus Kruger, he shouldn't be here. So this team is, I mean, this team has so much cap space. But this is definitely a, and one one area they're really lacking is goaltending. Uh, Cam Ward, Scott Darling, that's not going to cut it, especially at $4 million. Uh, so if we were to take over Carolina, this would probably, um, I mean, they've got a decent start with some of these young guys. But it would probably be two to three years, and I would rebuild it. I would tear it down. I would trade Stepniak, Kruger, Williams. I mean, I would get all the cap space I can. I'd probably trade Stahl. $6 million for an 83 is not worth it. Uh, the rest of these guys have kind of friendly contracts. And if I'm honest, I mean, Justin Falk's contract is amazing. He's only got three years on it, but still, that's pretty nasty. I mean... Columbus would be one to two years while retooling, while still trying to make the playoffs. Whereas Carolina, I think I would tear it down. I would put all of my faith in like Aho, Rask, Skinner. Like these guys would be the building blocks of this team. And we see what we do. I mean, we're sitting at $15 million in cap space before the season even starts. Um, and we have a high draft pick. So we could get lucky, have a lottery help us out. Uh, I'm really leaning towards wanting to do a rebuild team since we just got done. I mean, we were built Detroit though. I mean, my opinion is not going to be in this. There's going to be a poll at the start of the video or at the end of the video. I don't know. There's going to be a poll somewhere. Or I might just do a straw poll, a straw poll in the description. We'll see. But... <laughs> Yeah, I think Carolina would be a two to three year rebuild. And then we would hop in trying to make the playoffs. I mean, Carolina gets good. Like, that's that. It, it happens eventually. It's just you have to get there. They are, I mean, they're set up to. Uh, how long is that bio penalty for, though? I don't know how long the buyout's for. I don't know how long the retained salary is for. It's a shame I can't see that anywhere. Yeah, I think, unlike Columbus, where I kind of want to retool on the fly, I would tear down Carolina, and we would build around Aho, Rask, and Skinner, pretty much, and leave the defense where it is, get rid of any big or older guys, shed some salary, and see if we can't make a push with some young kids. Kind of see if I can... Actually lead a team through the draft instead of relying on free agency. But with that said, we have one final team, and that team will be the Los Angeles Kings. This is our final team that we're looking at. Um, this is pretty much the same situation as Dallas, but these guys are much better set up to win now. Dallas, you really fall off, but looking at the start of the Kings roster... Drew Doughty, Anze Kopitar, Jeff Carter, Jake Muzzin, Alec Martinez, Tyler Toffoli. Like, these guys are solid. Toffoli gets... He is nasty. He scores a bunch of goals. Camilleri's kind of meh, but he's on a $1 million deal, so he can't really be upset. Martin Gab... And... Yeah. Marion Gabryk. Trevor Lewis, Dustin Brown, Nick Short. Like, this team is built to win now. And that's exactly what we would do. I would maybe make a move to improve. Maybe trade... Uh... Very little would have to be done with LA, but LA would be aim for the cup in the first three, year, two or three years, and then rebuild, and then try to finish off the last three seasons. So probably cup run for two years, three years in a rebuild, three years in a playoff run is pretty much how the Kings would go. Um, I don't have nearly as much like in depth as I want to go on the Kings as I did with the other two. Because the Kings are pretty much straightforward. Um, you're set to win now. You're not wanting to... Uh, you don't have any prospects, really. You really don't. You're, you're <laughs> It's pretty bottom of the barrel. You've got aging veterans. I mean, you've got Kopitar and Doughty, who are 27 and 30. Carter's 32. Muslim's 28. Like, this team is... They're in the, they're in the prime of their win-now phase. 
it would just maybe take a couple of moves to redistribute the talent throughout the lines. So, yeah, that's pretty much, I mean, they're pretty much the same as what the, uh, the stars were. But like I said, this team is much better than the stars in terms of EA standards. They've got better high end talent and it's, they've got defensive talent. Like I really didn't have defensive talent in Dallas aside from Klingberg. That's really it. And this team has depth, whereas Dallas had no depth whatsoever. But that's where this one's going to come to an end. Um, there's going to be a poll either in the description or on the video. I haven't decided yet. Vote, and come Monday, I'll look at the uh, vote tally. That'll be like the six of you that vote, hopefully. <laughs> and we will pick our new team. But as always, leave a like on the video. Or feel free to comment if you have a different team you want to suggest. Or just if you have a team that I showed that you were really want me to do, feel free to throw some, throw some facts at me. Defend, give me more reason to pick that team as my next GM mode. But last but not least, thank you for watching. Hopefully I edited this okay. And we will see you on Monday for more NHL GM mode. I have two more hockey videos coming out this weekend that are real life hockey though. Just to kind of hold you over if you watch them.